Hello world, in this video we are going to learn how to cut out the background of one image and replace it with another background. Now I don't claim to be a designer or anything so I know my lighting's off and the colors are a little bit off here and there and we could have went into great detail in that. But in this video I just want to show you several different ways that you can cut the background out of an image and then layer it into another image. So we're going to use these images to make this image. Alright, so let's get started. Click on File, Open, find where your images are. We're going to grab this sunflower. Okay, for this one, because the background's pretty consistent, we're going to use the Select by Color tool. You can either click on this tab over here or you can come up to tools and click selection tools and by color select. So once we have that done we're just going to come in here and click on the image. And as you can see that made a selection but it didn't get all of it so we're going to have to go around and select some more of it. So we need to come over here and change the mode of our select. Right now we're replacing the current selection so if we select again it's just going to undo what we just selected and select a new area. We want to add to the selection. So we're going to click on this icon. That's add to selection. And then we're going to come in here and click inside of what we call our marching ants. And these little flashing kind of dots are called marching ants. They signify a selection. Let's go ahead and click on the inside. And if you look over here, you can kind of start to see what's getting selected. So this area right here is right here. So go ahead and click there. And it selected all that area inside of there. And now it's selected all of that. So just keep clicking around, selecting this area. And the only reason we're able to use this Select by Color tool so easily on this image is because the main subject is so much different color than the background. So go ahead and keep making these selections around until you can pretty much see it cleared all the way up over here. Okay now that we have selected the entire background what we need to do is right click on the image, go down to layer, go to transparency and add alpha channel. This adds a layer of transparency to this layer. So once we delete the flower we have clear behind it. So now we've selected this and we've made our transparency. So all you have to do is hit the delete button on your keyboard. Okay I know I didn't get all the way up to the flower and how we can look at that is we can hit select none and you can still see a little bit of faint blue outline around the flower. So bring, to bring our selection back, we're Control Z on our keyboard. That brought our selection back. So all of this clear area where our background was is now selected. So now let's grow this selection so that we push these marching ants into our main subject a little bit more. So we click Select, Grow, and let's see what 10 pixels does. That brought it in pretty good. Now I want to feather that selection so that it's not a harsh line. So we're going to click select and feather. And we're going to feather it by that same 10 pixels. So it gradually blends into that line. And click OK. Now click delete. OK, now select none and you can see we don't have that blue outline anymore. So now let's use our rectangle select to crop out this image. So go to tools and selection tools and rectangle select. You can also click R on your keyboard to bring up the rectangle select tool or you can select it from over here at the tool icons. So to use the rectangle tool, we're just going to left click the mouse and hold the button down 
well we stretch out a little rectangle so now everything inside of this rectangle is selected so right click go down to image and clip crop to selection and now we've cropped our image now to save this image we go over to file and we don't want to click on save or save as because what that does is that saves it as a GIMP file XCF so that GIMP can later open it up and you can pick up where you left off which is fine to do but we want to save it for use in other areas so what we're going to do is we're going to go file export as here's the important part when you're cutting images out to have transparent backgrounds is you need to make sure that you save your file as a PNG that is the only file format that will save this transparent background so then just come down here and click on export and I already have a sunflower PNG so I'm just going to go ahead and replace it and none of this is really important right now we can cover it in some other videos so just go ahead and click export and now we've saved our sunflower with no background okay now let's try another image so we're going to click file open and we're going to cut this moon out okay so for this one we're going to use our ellipse select tool let's come over here to tools selection tools and the ellipse select or you can hit E on your keyboard okay so just grab it right here and hold down the left mouse button and start stretching out your ellipse and try to get the edges on each four sides lined up with your circle once you got it lined up right hit the enter key now you've made your selection so on this one we have selected everything inside of the ellipse so the moon is selected so what we need to do is we need to invert that selection so that all of the black area is selected when we invert it everything outside of the circle is in our selection so hit control and I on your keyboard to invert the selection we also need to add transparency to this so we right click on the image come down to layer transparency add alpha channel okay now just click delete on the keyboard okay once again we have this outline so let's go ahead and grow our selection select grow by 10 pixels okay now let's feather that same selection by 10 pixels now just click delete okay select none and there's our moon alright on this one we're going to crop it a different way so right click on the image go down the image and crop to content and that cropped our moon down now let's export it again file export as super pink moon we need to make sure we have dot png and click export and we're going to just replace the one that I already have and export okay now we have our moon with a transparent background let's try another one let's file open we're going to cut out this one open so for more detailed selections we want to use the paths tool so click on the paths tool and the paths tool works with anchor points so every time you click your mouse it's going to set down an anchor point so we want to zoom in here so we can get a good look at what we're doing and we want to set down our first anchor point and another one and then just keep doing this all the way around the image
close the loop for this path is you have to connect your final dot with your first anchor point so let's zoom in so we can get right up on that anchor point and then just click on it okay so now we have our path and our path is going to be located over here in our paths tab right now we have it named it we can get into that in some other video for right now we're going to right click on the path and we're going to path to selection okay so now we can see our marching ants once again let's go over here and just click on our move tool to get rid of our path anchor points and take a look at our selection okay once again we know that I didn't get very close up on here and there'll be some blue around there if we don't do something you can always get much more detailed with your using your path tool to make your selection you can get right in here and go around each one of these pixels but for time I just didn't do that so what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to grow the selection like we did in the other ones so grow 10 pixels is probably too much for this photo because this is a much smaller photo so let's scroll it by 5 and click OK now let's feather it select and feather it by 5 and click OK now we need to add our transparency so right click layer transparency add alpha channel and now just click delete and select none okay there we have our sky cut out of this one so now let's have a little bit of fun with it I have a background of some stars I want to add to this photo so let's go up here to file open as layers so this is a little different we want to open it as a layer to the photo we're working on now if we just click open then it's going to open in a new tab like all these other ones did so click on open as layers find the one you want to use we're going to use the stars background and click open come back over here to the layers tab so over here in the layers tab you'll notice that the one that I just put in is on top of the red rocks so just like if you were looking down on a stack of layers of paper the one on the bottom you wouldn't be able to see the one on the top you would but because this one's transparency if we take this one and put it on top then we'll be able to see the stars through this image so let's click on that image pick it up drag it up here and drop it okay that put the sky behind the mountains so now we need to scale this image down some so come over here to the layers tab make sure you have this layer selected and the way that you do that is by clicking on it and you can see that it highlights or gets darker in this case so come over here to your tools and you want to use your transform tools and scale or you can hit shift s on your keyboard so click the scale tool you need to make sure that this chain over here is connected so click on it and that way it will scale equally in width and height so grab it in the ends and start pulling it down into your image and you can use this little thing in the middle to grab and move it around and line it up with your image and then come over here and hit scale okay so now our background is the same size as our foreground so let's come over here and click file open as layers and let's open up the moon that we cut out and click open okay so once again we need to align our layers so we're going to grab our pink moon and put it between our rocks because we want it to be behind the rocks and in front of our background
Okay, so now we need to scale our moon down. So make sure that our moon layer is highlighted. Come over here and click on the scale icon. Now just take your moon and scale it down. Drag it over here to where you want it and where you want to see it poking out and then click scale. Okay. So I want to be able to see that end of the moon. So I'm going to come over here to tools, transform tools, and find my flip tool, which we can also access by hitting shift F. And I'm just going to click on the image. And there you go. It flipped it around. Okay. Let's click on this main layer so that we don't have that little bracket in the way. And let's grab our sunflower and stick it in here. We go to File, Open as Layers, bring our sunflower in. And we definitely need to scale that down. So we go to Tools, Transform Tools, Scale and drag it on into our image at the size we want and click scale now to make this sunflower blend in a little bit what we can do is we can come up here make sure that this layer is selected click colors and come down to brightness and contrast let's add some contrast and see how that does when you're working with these colors, it's all about what looks good to you. Okay, I kind of like that. One more thing I like to do whenever I do these images. I like to put a slight blur on it so, it so it eases the edges of each one of the images that we placed in here. So come up here to Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and let's put about a 5% blur on there. A 0.5% blur on there. So enter 0.5 and hit Enter and click OK okay there's our image so now let's save this one so come over to file and export as so we don't need the PNG anymore because we don't need the transparency so we can save this one as a JPG so we've changed it to JPG which is great for you to upload onto Instagram or Facebook and click export and of course I already have this one so we're just going to replace it and click export so now your image is ready for use and thanks for watching please like this video and subscribe to the channel